Hey guys, it is day three here in southern Louisiana with no power and uh, ice cold freezing temperatures and we don't get pretty snow. We get slushy, icy, nasty, icky stuff. I'm a mess. This is what happens when you don't have like electricity and rather regular amenities and stuff. Um, but I, I do want to talk about that for a second. We have been three days without anything in some of the harshest conditions that most of the people here have experienced in a while. We've literally had people like freezing to death in their homes. Um, but for the most part, our people have been pretty resilient. Uh, we've, I know personally, I've been able to keep my house to like 55 degrees, which is pretty good. Um, keeping the animals good, you know, at least inside. We are using the cars some here and there to keep warm. Um, we're cutting wood and doing barbecue, you know, stuff and using the heat to also heat the house some, things like that. And I'm seeing this kind of stuff happen like all over. You know, we ain't built for this, but we are built to survive. And I just wanted to put that out there real quick because out of all the negative stuff and out of all the griping and all the pain and all the like oh my god this sucks dude we're doing all right i've eaten cooked food for every meal i have not skipped a meal uh, my animals are good my house is bearable i kept washing my face and stuff like that because i do have hot water thank god my water runs off of gas um I just wanted to say I'm kind of proud of us, you know? Because this shit is nasty. This sucks, man. I know people up north talk about, like, oh, we've got winter and all this all the time. It's way harsher. You know, I'm in 10 feet of snow and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, great. Well, you know what? You chose to live in a place that has snow. You probably have snow boots. You have a shovel for snow. You know what to do with ice. You have an infrastructure in your city that's prepared for all of this and like I said we're not getting snow we are getting ice wet slushy stuff falls from the sky and forms into ice on the ground almost immediately there's no fun pretty stuff there's no gorgeous pictures okay I lie I did get a few like pictures of some trees that were really gorgeous because they were like completely covered in ice but like that's the other thing my hibiscus are dead we have tropical flowers down here all of our tropical flowers are dead. I'm gonna cry. My little horse like guns over there. My yard is a wreck. I've got trees down everywhere because even though I'm in the city, God knows they can't take out like the old ass pine trees that look like they're gonna freaking collapse on our house any minute, you know, but they're on city ground so we can't do it either. Um, <laughs> so now I have a bunch of pine tree uh, remnants in my yard. Uh, that's fun. That was just a, a portion of them that my uh, boyfriend was able to get kind of chopped up and out of the driveway to where we could at least leave the house a little bit to go, uh, you know, get some supplies, which is where I got extra candles and things like that. Because as many candles as we had, I don't think we were prepared to go three days running on candles for heat. Um, yeah. So I know I'm just kind of rambling here. I'm just ranting, but I'm... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back and forth between being really proud of us and also looking around just disgusted at our situation. <laughs> We've got another storm rolling in. Uh, now, actually, like, they said that it was supposed to start raining and that it was going to do nothing but get worse. Um, so, yeah. Also, thank you, everybody who's been, like, uh, messaging in and commenting and things like that who have been like worried about me and the family and everything we're we're good um i i love you guys <laughs> thanks you know um it's cold it's a mess it's it's kind of icky but uh we're making it so i guess that's the update i don't know um <sighs> Love you guys. Y'all stay safe. Check on your neighbors. Check on your friends. And if you know anybody in the South, God love them and pray for them. <laughs>